Welcome back to the Oklahoman's Video Studio here with our friends with Blue, Cro Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oklahoma to talk about Be Smart, Don't Start, their anti-tobacco day at uh, schools and, and the partnership they have with Science Museum Oklahoma. So let me deal in our guest here, uh, Lauren Dennison, of course, with Blue Cross Blue Shield. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Always great to see you, always great to catch up, and always great when you bring your friend here. Who is this? This is Blaze the Bragan Blue Dragon. And we're going to talk about some anti-smoking here. Why do we have a Blaze dragon here. So Blaze, the Bragan Blue Dragon, is a healthy dragon. He actually, the reason why Bragan is in his name is because he doesn't smoke. Which so is cool. Likes, yeah, it's great. So he likes to tell all of his friends that he uh, doesn't smoke and that they should uh, not smoke as well. And of course, the man who's all about non-smoking, Jeremy Huey, the American Lung Association. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing quite well. We'll get into an in-depth mascot discussion here in a second. <laughs> uh, and uh, Linda Meish. Yes. With Science Museum Oklahoma. How are you? I am fantastic. How about you? Doing well. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. Much appreciated. We'll have a quick conversation here about uh, the efforts coming up. Uh, Speaking of mascots, you guys have a mascot at Science Museum Oklahoma, we right? We do. Otto. Otto. Otto is probably the most popular member of our staff, without a doubt about it. <laughs> and you guys deal with a lot of kids, right? We do. Matter of fact, uh, this week alone, we have a bunch of the local schools are coming in. We have scholarship funds. Matter of fact, that's one of the things Blue Cross Blue Shield is helping us do with their um, Be Smart, Don't Smart, Be Smart, Don't Start Day, is we're bringing in 1,800 school children, um, courtesy of Blue Cross Blue Shield. Those kids get to come to the museum for the full day enjoy the activities and that's all on Blue Cross Blue Shield's generous time. She set you up Lauren, <laughs> tell us about it. So uh, Be Smart Don't Start Anti-Tobacco Day, this is the second year that we're doing a one-day event. Uh, last year we did it on a Saturday and we had around 1,500 mm -hmm. um, people come through the doors which was awesome. We paid for the first 500. This year we wanted to take it a step further, um, moved it to a weekday and sponsored the whole day for schools to come in um, for a free field trip. Uh, so we have around what, 1,800 kids. 1,800 from 16 different schools. Yeah, oh, wow. and those are those are statewide. So we have kids coming from Wagner, Stillwater, Anadarko, and then also Oklahoma City and Tulsa Metro as well. This will be Tuesday, May 3rd. We're talking about that these kiddos will enjoy Science Museum Oklahoma. Uh, and what's the overall underlying point of this? Uh, so the Be Smart Don't Start initiative is to encourage kids to not use tobacco, obviously, um, and to make healthy choices to live a healthy life. Um, we have eight, part ten, we have eight. A handful. A lot of I, yeah, a lot of partners <laughs> uh, this year. Um, American Lung Association, Science Museum Oklahoma, the American Cancer Society, um, the Oklahoma City County Health Department, uh, Oklahoma State University, the University of Oklahoma, um, and so Oklahoma yeah. City Energy. That's right, the mm -hmm. Energy uh, FC is involved in newspapers and education as well, so you have mm -hmm. a lot of good partners mm -hmm. uh, helping you out with this program. Yeah, they'll all be there that day with hands-on um, activities, um, educational activities uh, about not using tobacco. And then speaking of mascots, we're going to have Pistol Pete and Boomer oh, on wow. site as well. So the kiddos will get to take pictures with them and hang out with them as well as Blaze and Otto. That's Very right. nice. We'll get to see Blaze in action. Jeremy, why is it important for kiddos to not get, so, I say kids, but anybody, but let's talk about young people, to not get started in smoking? Well, we, uh, we fight every day um, this fight with tobacco. Um, we have uh, testimonies of people who took, uh, I, I was visiting with a lady last week, started smoking at the age of 15, uh, has already had bouts with lung cancer, lost a, a, a parent to lung cancer. The whole family started smoking early on. And so her smoke pack life is well over 50 years, which um, is devastating. And so uh, as we fight the fight to help adults quit smoking, man, the easier fight is to just prevent them from starting in the first place. So anything we can do to help educate people that uh, smoking is going to cause great harm to you, let's not even start, that's a lot better message. It's interesting for the example you gave there, they see their, their peers and their family members and the effects on it, and perhaps that effect is not seen until down the road, yet they still dive into it and take a puff, and that's, that's the danger right there, is it can be very addicting. It is very addicting, and over 18% of our youth are smoking, which actually is about equal to the national rate for regular smoking. So here in Oklahoma, wow. we have as many students smoking as adults and students across the country. So uh, you think we would be winning this battle, but we're, it's, we're still behind. We've got to get out in front of that. And days like this will help out. Oh, you bet. It's a great communication tool educating the public. 
And when the students hit Science Museum Oklahoma, what can they expect and what all will they be involved in doing? Well, one of the great things about partnerships like these is it allows us to expand our educational offerings far beyond our regular programming. We're still going to have the wonderful Science Museum programs that you expect when you come to visit. We'll have our wonderful planetarium shows. We'll have our science live show with a very special video performance um, that Blue Cross Blue Shield was able to put together for us. And then, of course, there's all the exhibits. They'll be open. You can ride your Segways. You can uh, go out into outer space on a Mercury simulator. You can do everything that the museum has to offer, in addition to the wonderful offerings that these good people are bringing to the table. They have wonderful activities scheduled for the kids. Um, and of course, they're adults, because I think one of the things that we at the museum realize is that a lot of times, this isn't just an entree to talking to the kids about these issues. This is an opportunity to educate the parents. And one of the things that we really strive for at the Science Museum is to give parents the tools that they need to continue with that educational experience at home. So I know that by the end of the day, the kids will have a great time, the sponsors are going to have a wonderful time, and everybody is going to leave with some great resources. And you've got the parents thinking in the back of the head, yeah, Absolutely. I can follow this, I can see the kids engaged in this, mm -hmm. take advantage of that. How, uh, how's the new entrance going? You guys unveiled that recently. It's really amazing. Uh, if people haven't been to the museum and since February, you really haven't seen Science Museum in, a long, in too long because just in the past couple of months, we've opened this grand new atrium entrance. Absolutely beautiful. Um, we had a couple of, took a couple of deep breaths with the recent storms because it's all glass. Oh, so wow. it's fantastic. You walk in and you can see right up to this up to the sky. But it gives us an opportunity to create that warm welcome. But also, for example, on Friday we'll have 2,500 school children hitting our front doors that are going to unload and be in the museum and participating in activities within an hour. So that new atrium lobby helps us get everybody organized and ready to start your day. It's critical that they don't get off to a, you know, kind of a cluster type start. Yeah, it's, you know, a lot of us are parents. We've been on those field trips and it's a little stressful for the parents because maybe they're, you know, they're dealing with a bunch of kids that aren't theirs and one of our objectives is to make that as easy and seamless and stress-free for everybody, no matter if you're bringing your kids of just, you know, maybe two and six or if you've got, you know, ten teenagers that are under your watch for the day. Got your hands full in that case. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy, Linda mentioned some of the educational uh, opportunities at this event and things that parents can be thinking about and the kids will learn. What are some of the educational tools that the American Lung Association will be providing? Well, we actually have a set of uh, pig lungs uh, that we actually move across the state and schools all across the state. They'll be on display uh, that day at the Science Museum. Uh, one is a smoker's lung and we ha can't tell you how we got the pig to smoke. That's the top <laughs> secret. But industry, one's a, industry secret. Right that's there. right. It's an industry secret. One's a smoker's lung and one's a healthy lung. And so we set it up to where we can inflate them with air. And the healthy lung, I mean, it really expands and shows the vast ability of your lungs. Uh, and then the smoker's lung, uh, it, it barely inflates. It's, uh, of course, it's heavily black and uh, tarred and some got little cancer cells and things in them. Uh, and so it really shows the magnitude of what smoking does. They're very popular. Uh, and something the parents can say, hey, remember those pig lungs? That's right. Don't get started. That's right. Um, all right, Lauren, uh, let's wrap this up. You'll also have the Mobile Assistance Center at the event. Yes, uh, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Oklahoma um, has our Mobile Assistance Center. It is a full-service kiosk. Um, we deploy it in times of uh, natural disasters or situations where people... Just need some help. Yeah. Um, so like community events, sure. um, people can come to the event and um, speak with a customer service advocate and get the help that they need. Um, also like in terms of storms, uh, if people need to print off their prescription cards or if they need help getting a temporary ID card, um, then that's, we can help well, them do huge, that. That's huge right there because you have to have that when you go to the hospital. Like what sort of insurance do you have? What's your numbers? You're hit with all this these questions and the last thing you're trying to figure out is what's this long number or whatever. So that's, that's an invaluable resource. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, very good. The Be Smart, Don't Smart Anti-Tobacco Day statewide over at Science Museum Oklahoma. May 3rd, uh, Blaze the Brag and Dragon will be there. Great job today, Blaze. <laughs> and the beautiful thing about doing this interview that Lauren didn't realize that Blaze only played with her hair minimally. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for coming in. Great thanks program. So uh, we appreciate the information. Thank you.